Hello, this is the first in a series of short videos that I'm going to do for the stream class um, based on the topic of modes. Now, um, you've got some other resources, some finger chart sheets and some um, links for computer programs to use alongside these resources. So each of the videos is going to introduce the topic um, and then those resources um, can be used to then help you sort of practice the skills that were that have been introduced. So what we're doing is we're working on a bit of music theory um, about un discovering what the topic of modes is and um, how to sort of work out the pictures of those. But we're also going to be doing some rhythm work and some coordination work, um, learning how to play off beats in time and um, sort of developing that skill alongside um, the pitch work that we're doing. Okay, so modes. Modes is another word for scale. Um, we tend to these days only learn major and minor scales. Um, now, those two scales, we've seen how they were linked before. Uh, a major scale is do to do and a minor scale is la to la. Um, but actually, those are two of seven scales, one starting on each note of the scale, okay, and working up like I showed you before. Um, so hopefully that will then start to make more sense when we see how the whole picture fits together. So the major scales, do to do, is called the Ionian scale. Now you don't need to remember all of these names. Um, the names of the seven modes were actually taken from Greek um, sort of places and characters because each of the scales is supposed to have a sort of specific character. Okay, so do to do is the major scale that we know. Um, the next one we're going to do is re to re. The next one is me to me. The next one is far to far. The next one is so to so. Then the one we've seen la to la, which is what we call the minor scale. It's known as Aeolian mode. And then we have one that's a very weird sounding scale that goes T to T. Okay, so all of these modes were used in sort of um, Renaissance music, um, in the medieval music, um, and then they sort of dropped out of fashion a bit as we get to sort of Baroque and classical and romantic. But then we see them coming back in, in some of the sort of 20th century music. Um, they've always been very popular in folk music all the way through. Um, so it, it's important to know about them because actually it makes our understanding of music much more three-dimensional and, and richer than just knowing about the major and the minor. And a lot of the time you will have played pieces that are modal, um, but you haven't really noticed because it, like, it's just working out that the key signature and the notes that you're playing don't quite match and you can't quite work out why. Hopefully this will give you the tools to be able to sort of work those things out for yourself. Okay, so first things first. Um, the reason I've come in so close is so that you can see the diagrams properly behind me. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a C major scale. Now we've done this in detail in one of the other videos. So if you want to go back and recap on um, the finger patterns and practice a C major scale so that you feel ready for this, you can stop the video now and go and do that. And we're going to do C major scale with a slight difference. Okay, so I've written out eight beats and another eight beats, and the small dashes are the off beats. Okay, so it goes one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and, okay? Um, so that we get a feel for the beat. Now, underneath that, what I've written is the major scale. So, do, re, and then when we have a semitone between me and fa, I've drawn them underneath a beat and an off beat, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm giving the, the distance between the notes um, a value in the rhythm as well as in pitch. So it goes do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. And even though we have eight notes in our scale, the reason we need a rest is because we've made the semitone notes into a half note. And we have two semitones in, our, in all of these scales. So we'll end up having a seven beat pattern, a beat rest, and another seven beat pattern. Okay, so if I'm going to turn those into rhythm notes, it goes 
ta ta ti ta 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 ti ta breath ti ta 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 ti ta 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 okay um now what we're going to do is we're going to realize that so every time we get a semitone in our scale we get um the first note of that semitone is going to be a quaver okay and here's the other semitone Here's our semitone, this time the quaver's on the do because we're coming down and this time the quaver's on the fa as we're going down, okay? Um, so let's just have a go at clapping this rhythmic pattern. So let's get a steady beat um, going. I'm gonna do metronome. A little bit slower. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ti, ta, ta. I'm going to do it again. Now, instead of using rhythm names, I'm going to say, not sing, but I'm going to say the solfa names. You can have a go just clapping the rhythm or saying the rhythm names if you want to. One, two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Now, what you will notice is I've put a little bit in green here and a little bit in blue and then back to green. Now the blue, the green bits are the bits where the notes of the scale exactly line up with the beats, the on beats, okay? The blue sections are when we have these little quavers, it creates a syncopated section. That's where we do offbeat playing. So these Tars now line up with the off beats, okay, and then they come back round again when we get to the second quaver. So here we have a large syncopated section, and then we go back onto the on beats, okay. We're going to do it once more with um, rhythm words this time, and I want you to just feel this when it lands with the beat and when it feels like it's on an off beat, okay. So one, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ti. Ta, 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 ti, ta, rest. Ti, ta, 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 ti, ta, ta, ta. Okay. So now what we're going to do is have a go at putting it onto our instruments. So our scale is going to be a C major scale. Let's just make sure that we've got the notes. So cellos your, and violas, you're going to start on your open string. Um, violins, you're going to start with the third finger on the G string. If you want to do this in third position, if you've learned third position, then you'll have first finger on the G string. Um, if you're in first position, you have third finger on the G string. Okay, so let's just tune our C. And we'll just do two beats for each note, just to check that we're getting all our fingers in the right place. So, one, two. to do is we're going to add the rhythm all right so we'll do it take it nice and slowly first um so and we'll go a little bit slower okay so this is a ta 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 let me see if i can move so that you can see the notes Ooh, underneath okay so i might have to go over the shot so that you can see what we're doing you can still see my hand okay so one two three four c d
great thing about playing a string instrument is that you can sing along as you play. So let's see if we can sing along the sol fa as we play up our scale. Okay, so we're starting on do, off we go. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, do. Do, di, la, so, la, mi, re, do. Okay, the nice thing about this scale pattern is I like the mi, re, do being on the beat at the end, okay? Now let's sing the letter names, okay? So off we go. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, B, C, C, B, A, G, A, B, D, C. Okay, so what you're going to have, oops, let me turn that down, is a computer program that has that written in with a beat under the bottom and a um, and the notes of the scale written out in that rhythm now you can change the tempo along the bottom so now you get the idea of what you're doing um, have a go at practicing it super slow and make sure you can sing the sol fa along the top and really feel where those semitones are um, and then have a go at singing the note names over the top, especially if you're doing it in third position or if you want to challenge yourself and do it in second position, singing the note names and singing the sol fa. Um, this one seems really easy because we're in the major scale and it's something that's really familiar. As we move further on into the videos, you're going to have all of these different patterns that you're not used to. Um, so get familiar with these ones, feel how this one works, and then as we go through, the rhythms get a bit more complicated and the patterns change. Um, and hopefully you will start to feel really comfortable and excited about all the different modes that we're going to learn. All right, have fun.